Hey guys, Aton, welcome back to the channel. Today we're switching up, we're not making food, we're talking about clothes. If we're gonna be honest, this is all I've worn for the past few weeks, and don't even judge me because I know you've only worn it too. Sweatpants, a t-shirt, probably haven't washed these in like a week, but the thing is, you guys can't hate on me for it because none of you are smelling me because I'm just in my house. So I figured today I would channel my inner Emma Chamberlain and give you guys a video of what I'd be wearing if I wasn't stuck at home. Welcome to my closet. Now, anyone that follows me on the gram knows I'm all about getting dressed up, whether it is for the Stranger Things premiere, Subtle Flex, for industry parties, for any types of things, I am all about getting dressed up so here is my closet i literally own a ridiculous amount of clothes although i've been very cheap lately and not buying anything new so we're gonna use with what i have let's get on to outfit number one i figured let's start out strong with an outfit i would wear to a movie premiere first up we've got my favorite versace pants you guys gotta see these versace jeans are quite fire i've worn them multiple times to different events and they're just a whole vibe and i feel like cool pants make a statement now let's grab this plain red shirt from my drawer because we want to pair it with something that's a little bit less uh crazy patterns fun fact about me i actually really enjoy ironing i find it very relaxing most of my days are very hectic so just kind of like the chill time ironing um i just feel like it's a vibe so let's iron the shirt all right let's get dressed and bam, there you go. Now I like to, whoa, oh God, my chair. That was not what's supposed to happen. And we're gonna now pair this with a leather jacket to complete the look and come on chair. <laughs> now on the feet, we've got some ketchup and mustard socks. Now you may think it looks weird to wear food socks to events underneath an outfit like this, but they're a great conversation starter. Cause when you meet someone that's really cool, you want to talk to them in case you have nothing to talk about, whip out the socks and then just talk about them. Now, for the shoes we got my famous jimmy shoes as you can see from the bottom which is quite dirty uh obviously i got these on sale i would not buy them full price and you usually see me wear the movie premieres a gucci belt however that is borrowed i am not out here trying to spend that much money on a belt no matter how much money i ever make no i will always borrow it so it's borrowed from my friend and bam that is what i'd be wearing if i was going to a movie premiere uh even though this obviously not gonna be those for a while now let's talk about the key components of a movie premiere look first off the pants you gotta have really loud pants you want to be noticed when you're at these movie premieres so the whole point is to be seen and to see people you want to be loud and noticed that's just my opinion a lot of a lot of people wear suits but i like to wear something very loud very like fashion statement -y because i think that's what makes like the whole look all right now let's do a photo shoot all right it's photo shoot time got my camera got my dad who's gonna take the pictures let's do a photo shoot <laughs> I think I would rate this outfit and the picture a solid nine out of 10, if I may say so myself. I feel like the jawline was really popping and I feel like it just comes together into a good outfit. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Time for outfit number two. Next up is a date night dinner outfit. When you're going out to town with the girl, as if I do that. You would think cooking gets you girls. It does not. Although I can cook dinner and show up looking like I'm about to look. Just saying. First, we got a shirt, nice and crisp, little pattern, nothing too crazy. Then we got my crazy pants. Hear me out. I know for a date, you'd probably want to wear something like chill, mellow, that like isn't that crazy. But I feel like these are a pretty good sign of how crazy I am. So like if they don't like the pants, then they're not going to like me. Time to get dressed. There we go. Now we got the pants. First off, these pants are fired. Don't even deny it. Now for the belt, I'm just going to wear a boring old belt. Uh, but obviously I would also wear my Gucci belt with this, especially if I wanted to impress. Um, so I would text my friend Max and get that from him because I'm like, I'm still, I'm just too cheap. On the feet, we got my fake Gucci's. They're not actually fake, but they just look, I feel like look like Gucci and they were on sale for like $40 at a store, which is just my brand. I need things on a budget. And bam, there you go. Date night dinner outfit as if I had date nights. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I cook. I have good, I think I have pretty good style. I don't know, I think I'm fun. But yeah, so this is what I would wear if hypothetically I were to go on a date. All right, let's do a photo shoot. I mean, if I showed up to a date looking like that, yeah, just saying. I mean, you could rate it for yourself. Next outfit is for when hanging out with friends was a thing. We're gonna do an outfit that is just chill vibes. So when I'm hanging out with my friends, I don't even think they'd hang out with me if I was wearing these pants. <laughs> just kidding, maybe. Uh, but yeah, let's find an outfit. My favorite tie-dye sweatshirt, check. Favorite jeans, check. Let's get dressed. 
There you go, and I just paired them with some comfortable shoes, nothing fancy. This is what I wear to go to the movies or to go get food. Really any type of thing where I just want to be super comfortable and have fun. All right, let's head outside. And bam, I am all ready for a night out with my friends, having fun or a day out. I cannot wait till those things restart. Um, I really miss my friends. But yeah, this is what we're doing, you know, just a comfy sweatshirt or t-shirt sometimes with some comfortable pants. Signs. I'll even wear just like sweatpants that look a little bit good. There we go. Now, I don't want to do a photo shoot. I already have some great pictures of me in this outfit already. So let's just show you the pictures of those and act like I shot them now, even though I didn't. Because if I did the pictures now, they would not even be half as good as the ones I already have. All right, that was me pretending to a photo shoot. This picture is actually from a shoot I did in New York way back when it was safe to go there. Uh, I would rate this a solid eight out of 10. I mean, I feel like the smile just says it all. <laughs> We're gonna do a business outfit. This is for when I'm stepping into a business meeting. I gotta put out my hand and be like, well, I guess we're not doing that anymore. Put out my elbow and be like, yes, oh, yes, uh, give me a million dollars. All right, we got my favorite bougie shirt from Hugo Boss. And also I'm gonna pair them with some white pants. Uh, I don't know if it's legal yet to wear white pants. I don't know if we've passed that date. Anna Wintour might kill me for doing this. Sorry, Anna. Let's get dressed. Bam, there we go. Let's pair them with my blue and white Jimmy Choo's. Bam, we've got summer. 2020 vibes, even though the summer 2020 is going to be indoors, but we can imagine, uh, yeah, this one I wear to a meeting. It's kind of summery. It's nice. Only problem is, I don't know if you can hear, the shoes kind of sound like every time you walk that you're farting. Wait, hold up. Okay, you can't hear it on camera, but I promise you it sounds like I fart every time I walk, which is the only bad part of this, but I feel like this is nice business, kind of a little bit over the top so people can get my personality, uh, but also like kind of nice, fancy, like hello or whatever it is. Give me all your money. <laughs> Photo shoot time. picture of outfit number I think three or four I forget uh, I would say this was pretty fire too not to my own horn but I feel like this is going pretty well yeah it's a pretty fire outfit if you ask me I will 1000% be wearing this last up let's do beach vibes clothes even though you're not allowed to go to beaches anymore I feel like we could still live vicariously if that's how you pronounce the word through the beach clothes that we wear at our own house. All right, let's do this pink beachy shirt. And also we got these kind of faded pants that are a little bit old, but I think it'll work. You already know the drill, let's try it on. All right, there we go. Outfit number five. There you go, summer 2020 beach vibes over here. Now you see, I paired this with some slides. And I usually wouldn't wear socks on a beach because um, that just wouldn't really work with the sand. But the looks are a little bit deceiving right now. It looks very, very warm and it is pretty warm, but it's actually still a bit chilly. So I'm not in the mood to take off my socks. But yeah, this is just kind of the outfit. If I was going to a beach with some friends, the shirt is a little bit big on me, but I feel like you kind of want a flowy shirt uh, for the beach. All right, let's do the photo shoot. It's photo shoot time. Which you like from here to here? Like here to here. This photo just, it ain't it. Nope, 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 nope. Zero out of 10. That concludes the last photo shoot. So special thanks to my dad for being my guest photographer on this video. All right, there you go. That is what I would be wearing if we were not quarantining at home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stepping out of my comfort zone in the YouTube game. Uh, I tend to just do cooking videos. So I wanna try this out. Let me know down below what you guys think of these types of videos. My goal is everybody you guys know I post on YouTube a cooking video and I'm, my goal is on Thursdays to now post some other type of fun video that's not cooking. Maybe sometimes food related, but not the traditional cooking. I think you guys would like that. Let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see. Do you like that idea? If not, let me know. I'll probably do it anyways though because I have fun with it. And if you haven't already, speaking of that, click down below the big red subscribe button to be the first to know when I post new videos. It's big, it's red, it's free. You should click it uh, to join the YouTube fam. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching the video and follow me on all my other socials at Aton and at Aton Bernath on Facebook and Twitter. 
Alrighty, this was super fun, channeled my inner Emma Chamberlain. Uh, Emma, if you see this, I'm a big fan, let's cook and let's become friends. Yeah. Alright, uh, hope you guys are staying at home, staying safe, staying healthy, uh, and hope you're all doing well and not going too crazy from quarantine. Alright, I'm gonna now go clean this mess over here from this episode. Alright, bye.